when you're doing word problems with fractions you increase the complexity of what you have to do. A lot of students have trouble sometimes even understanding word problems and then to add the problem of fractions makes it quite complicated. And I'm just going to introduce this strategy that some of you may remember to apply when you're trying to figure out these questions. So if you come across a problem like this, it can look pretty complicated to start with. Jillian took six and a half hours to build a doghouse. If she worked for one and three quarter hours each night, how many nights did it take? So instead of starting by trying to figure out this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to take the numbers and make them simpler. We're just going to use some very simple numbers, non-fraction. Let's use whole integers to see how to solve this problem. So we're going to just change this number to a six. And let's change this number to a two. Okay, so now she, it took her six hours and she worked two hours each night. How many nights did it take? So six hours, two hours each night. Most of you will be able to see that if we use these two numbers to get the answer, we're going to take this number here, six, and divide it by two to get our answer of three you can see that it would take her three nights to do this. So that's the exact same process you use when you're deciding on your answer, determining your answer with fractions. So we're going to take this number, divide it by this number. That's the operation we're going to do. So let's go back to our original number. Now if you remember, we took this number, divided by this number. So let's try that. Six and a half divided by one and three quarters. So to complete this calculation we need to change this into an improper fraction so we're going to have uh, 13 halves divided by 7 quarters and to complete the calculation we're going to change it to a multiplication question so 13 halves times the reciprocal here the reciprocal of 7 fourths is going to be 4 sevenths so we're going to end up with 52 fourteenths. So we have to figure out what whole number that's going to be. So we're going to end up with 3 and 10 fourteenths, which would reduce to 5 sevenths. So the number of nights is going to be 4 nights, 3 and a part of a night. Okay, so 3 and 5 sevenths is going to be how many nights it take takes. The key here is to take these, make them simpler so that you can figure out what operation is needed to complete this question. In this case Justin had two and a half chocolate bars, he ate three-eighths of them. How much of a chocolate bar did he eat? So again let's change these into simpler numbers. Let's change this to two and let's change this to instead of three-eighths let's just use a half. It's not that simple, but we'll be able to figure it out from here. So he had two. He ate a half of them. How much should he eat? How would you get the answer by using these numbers? What mathematical operation could you do or calculation using two and one half to get the answer, which obviously is one? You eat one chocolate bar. So can you see what operation you're going to do, multiplication or division? So we can take 2 and we're going to multiply it by 1 half to get our answer of 1. So we take this number here, we multiply it by this number to get our result. Now let's try it with the original numbers because now I know that I have to multiply this number by this number to get, our, to get the answer. 2 and a half times 3 eighths. So again I need to change this to a an improper fraction, that would be 5 halves times 3 eighths. I multiply the numerators, I multiply the denominators, I check to see that I can't simplify this, so he ate 15 sixteenths of a chocolate bar, which was pretty close to the one we got when we uh, changed our numbers to simplify them. So the idea is to take a complicated qu question with complicated numbers change it so that it's simple to figure out so that you can figure out whether you're multiplying or dividing or even adding or subtracting 
when you're working with fractions and word problems. Try to apply this strategy as you're going through some of the questions on the worksheet and when you get to the quiz and the test.